Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the Puritans. In particular, we're going to learn about who was the leader of the Puritans, who led them. Before we do that, though, we should talk a little bit about the Pilgrims. We should go back and review a bit. And if you remember correctly, the Pilgrims came over in 1620. They came over on one ship. They were led by a gentleman named William Bradford, and about 100 of them came over that first year. Now let's look at who was the leader of the Puritans. Who am I? Hmm. I think I want to go to New England. Where is New England? Oh, that's right. I'm John Winthrop, and New England is across the Atlantic. Let's learn a little bit more about John Winthrop. In England, John Winthrop was a lawyer. He owned land and had servants. However, he lost his job because he was a Puritan. The king did not like Puritans. Puritans didn't like the way the king was dealing with the Church of England. They believed the king was too loose with the rules, and they wanted to reform or purify the Church of England. I was a good lawyer, too. Winthrop wanted to live in a place where people lived by the rules of the Bible, a place where they would not be persecuted, that means treated poorly, for their beliefs. I just wanted to worship God on my, in my own way. What's wrong with that? With the king's approval, John Winthrop and his followers left England to start a new life in America. He led a large group of Puritans to Massachusetts and helped start the Massachusetts Bay Colony. 16 ships, ships set sail with over 1,000 people on board. John Winthrop sailed to America on one of those ships on the Arbella. They arrived in New England on June of 1630. We made it! Winthrop was the first governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. He tried to make it an example for the world. The colonists chose Winthrop to be their leader 12 times. Pilgrims had arrived 10 years earlier and settled Plymouth Colony. Massachusetts Bay Colony, Plymouth Colony. Those arrows are pointing to the cities that would now be Boston, that's where Massachusetts Bay Colony was, and Plymouth, that's where Plymouth Colony started. Winthrop was also a minister. He would lead his people in prayer and help them follow the word of God. God is our life and our prosperity. In his sermon, a religious speech, he called on his people to be a city upon a hill. He wanted them to be an example for the rest of the world on how to live as Christians. He knew that God and others would be looking on to see if they succeeded in creating a just and prosperous life. This is one of the Word, these are some of the words from his sermon. For we must consider that we shall be a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us, so that if we shall deal falsely with our God in this work we have undertaken, and so cause him to withdraw his present help from us, we shall be made a story and a byword throughout the world. What he meant by that is, if we don't do well in this colony, if we don't live by the words of God, and we don't have a prosperous colony. Everybody will know that. We are an example for everybody. So we either succeed or we fail. Winthrop was married three times. He and Mary, his first wife, had six children. Mary died, and his second wife died soon after they were married. His third wife, Margaret, waited in England while he set up the colony. Then she joined him in Massachusetts. Winthrop wrote about the colony in his journal, or diary. We know a lot about the Puritans because of John Winthrop's journal. This is one of his earliest entries. Saturday, June 12th. About four in the morning, we were near our port. We shot off two pieces of ordnance and sent our skiff to Mr. Pierce, his ship, which lay in Salem Harbor. About an hour after, Mr. Allerton came aboard us in a shallop as he was sailing to Pemaquid. 
As we stood toward the harbor, we passed through the narrow strait between Baker's Isle and Kettle Isle and came to an anchor a little within the islands. That was about when they arrived in New England. John Winthrop was buried in King's Chapel Burying Ground. This is a historic graveyard in Boston, Massachusetts. He died in 1649. King's Chapel Burying Ground was established in 1630 and is the oldest graveyard in Boston. I hope you learned something about John Winthrop. I learned a lot.